what attracts you to this play? Why is it one of your most favorite musicals? I think the fact that, uh, it, like I said, it's an adult musical. It's about a singer. It's very close to me. And the music is fabulous. Every song is great. Either uh, very emotional or very funny. And you can express yourself in the songs. Uh, beautiful chords, incredible lyrics. So that's what I really loved about this whole musical. Do you find yourself feeling a little bit pressured to match up to previous performers of Victor Victoria, like Julie Andrews? Well, she's another different kind of singer, of course, which I told them immediately. I cannot sing like Julie Andrews because she has more an opera voice and I have the husky, jazzy voice. And they said, well, that's exactly what we're looking for. So I said, well, then, okay, if I can be myself, it's fine. You've had a very long and successful career. Do you, you know, you've, you've gone from a girl band to a band and then to becoming a jazz soloist. Do you just go where the work takes you? Or how do you decide on, for instance, like being a, a star in a musical in Singapore? Like, how do you make these decisions? Well, it, it, it comes to you and it, it, comes, it crosses your path. And uh, also, you, your age has something to do with it. When you're young... Um, I didn't want to sing jazz. I, I like jazz. I was brought up with it, but I didn't want to sing it. And when I got the chance to do, you know, this sexy girl group, I thought, this is it. This is nice. And then later on, it was time for me to do the things I really knew about, about the jazz, about the Latin, about the French songs. That's what I've been doing now for 18 years. And um, musicals were not really my first interest, except this one was it. This one, I couldn't say no to Victor Victoria. I really couldn't. If they would have come with Tarzan or something, I would have said no, thank you. Definitely. Are there, are there any other musicals that you hope to do in the future? Well, you know, there are some musicals that are that would that would really fit with me. I think like Sunset Boulevard. These are, you know, but you know, musicals like The Phantom or Miss Saigon are not musicals for me. I think it, I'm not. That kind of act. Uh, first of all, I'm not an actress, right? Yeah. So, whatever musical I play in, it should be something related to me. Right. Do you are you a little scared about the acting part since you're relatively inexperienced in that aspect? Not at all. I I think you know the the most natural way you do your thing is the best. I'm I'm not going to try to act. I'm going to be myself and and. Uh, if I have to be angry, I'll be angry or, or funny or it's because, you know, on stage, when I am on stage, I'm always talking to people, having a lot of interaction. That same thing I'm going to be doing with my, my uh, co-players. But the critics that you're about to face might be different from the critics, from music critics. This time around, you're, you'll be facing theatre critics and theatre audiences. Do you think mm -hmm. they might be different or maybe harsher on you? I don't know. It's their opinion, not mine. Right. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. If I would care about every reporter that would say bad things about me, because also in my musical career, not all the reporters like me. Some say I can't sing. Some say it's a... <gasps> whatever. If I would take, uh, really uh, get annoyed by every remark, I would have stopped singing years ago. I don't care. That's what they think. What is the secret of longevity in this music industry? Because it's fairly fickle and... Le uh, of what? Longevity, you know, stay, staying oh, power. Langurkheit. Langurkheit. <laughs> That's my manager <laughs> translating in Dutch. Still, I don't understand. What does it mean? No, you've, you've managed to be it's so like successful for so long. Yeah. Yeah, what is the secret? Of staying having fun that's having the fun? only thing whatever wow. you do whether you're acting singing dancing if you're having fun in what you do then you, you stay like, don't do anything you don't like don't do it RVG thank you so much for being on Reason Pop you're welcome